Understanding how your money works. Hey gang, this is Mike with MrNoFluff.com. In today's class, we're going to talk about understanding how your money works, understanding where is your money coming from, and what is your money based on, okay? Because me and you and so many people around the world and in America, we think that the U.S. dollar has so much value, and I want to discuss where the value comes from. So let's go ahead and get started without any any further delay. This can be you, and you may have a job, and you're working. So you're working, right? And let's say you work for Ford, making cars, right? And then the Ford will pay you $2,000 a month. I'm just making a very, very simple case. Now, this is a very, very simple way of looking at it, but I'm just trying to help you understand how's your money work. So that's you, you, you're working, okay, and you're working for Ford, and they're going to pay you $2,000 a month, okay? And then what happens is that Ford needs doesn't have all the money. He need, They need money for employment, to pay the payroll, they need money for equipment, factories, parts, etc. So then Ford and goes to... A, the bank and borrows money, right? Now, the other thing I want you to understand is that not only you are working to make money, but even the government, okay, is borrowing money from the bank. In the United States, we call this bank the Federal Reserve, okay? Now, what I want you to notice is that you're actually working maybe 40 hours to make $2,000. You have to trade your time or your labor, your sweat, time away from your kids. You have to sit in traffic, etc., and you give that to Ford, they make products, they make thousands, but they just pay you chump change, $2,000 a month. But Ford doesn't even have all the capital that is required to run Ford, so Ford goes to the banker. Now, what I want to explain is that you are working for that money. What do you think the banker is doing to come up with this money? Think about it. What do you think they're doing, okay? Some of you will say, yes, they're holding our deposit, which is true. But where, where is the very source of creation of the money? I'll show you right now. Well, at the central bankers or the Federal Reserve, okay, um, you may have a guy there, and he'll have a table with a machine on it, and they are, with the lever, printing money. Okay? They are printing money, and they put it in little crates, I worked for a moving company. I own a moving company, I should say. And we moved a lot of crates. They put it, they, they shrink wrap it up, and they send it to different bankers, or in this case, they'll give it to, to four to borrow some money. So the bank will give them that money, and they need to pay your payroll. Okay? Now, <clears throat> so the money here that the Federal Reserve prints doesn't have any value because it's not backed by gold or any kind of, you know, tangible asset that has value like land or gas or stakes or anything like that, okay? It used to be in America that our money was backed by gold, but not anymore, okay? So what I'm trying to get to is to help you understand is that you're here And you're working for money 40 hours while the bankers are here printing money for almost for free. Okay. Now, the other thing I want you to understand is now Big Brother is now borrowing money from the Federal Reserves, which they print out money and give it to the Federal Reserves. But Big Brother, when they pay for this debt, They're not paying for it. Guess who's paying for it, ladies and gentlemen? You are. You are the one that's paying Big Brother through taxation, which then they go ahead and pay off their debt. 
All right. The other thing I want you to understand is that many would think that the debt, the income tax, the stuff that we pay goes and builds roads and schools. Uh uh-uh. uh. The number one money that it goes to our tax is paying off interest to the banks. Okay, so they're just paying off this free money that these bankers print. Okay, not only are we not paying off the debt balance, we're just only paying interest only. Okay, that's it. That's why year after year after year after year after year after year, America's central government, federal government, state, local are indebted, 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 and they never come out because there's a deficiency. Which is we're borrowing more than we're paying off because we're only paying the interest only. So many people think that when they get taxed, the money's going to build roads. No, the very first thing is to pay off bankers. Okay, that's the very first thing they do. Okay, and the second thing they do is you know, bomb a whole lot of innocent people. In the past nine years, how many countries have we bombed? How many millions of people have we killed? Okay, and guess what? The government, they're not working to pay off this debt. They're not working. They're getting the money from me and you through taxation. Okay. Now, this whole system, Big Brother and the bankers, they're all on our shoulder. Please understand that. That's why they call us slaves. Okay. Slavery. And most people don't understand that because in the colleges, in the school system, they don't know one talks about how the money is being printed, how the money is being created. What is the true value of it? They don't talk about inflation. I mean, they may talk about inflation in economic class, but not really what it means into your pocket. They may tell you philosophies and stuff like that, but not really what it means into your pocket. Um, So today I wanted to help you understand how your money works, how your money is created. So the money is created to the Federal Reserve through a printing press. They just push the button, money comes out. When it packages up and they let their friends, big corporations, borrow it. For example, right now in 2019, you can see a lot of big corporations are borrowing money at pennies on the dollar. Because someone's printing it, they're buying their own stocks, and stocks are propped up, right? And guess what? Every time the government borrows money from the banks and starts paying them off, that creates inflation, which is another hidden tax on your shoulders. So now only are you got to carry the Federal Reserve, not only do you have to carry Big Brother, but you also have to carry this, this inflation that's on top of your back, ladies and gentlemen, which is a hidden tax, which is a tax on your sa- savings, okay? Now, when we talked about this gentleman here, or this lady here, okay, we talked about she goes to work, at Ford, and they make $2,000. Well, a lot of that is going to get taxed off, which is going to go into the government for them to pay this debt off or the interest only off, okay, because of all the stuff that they have, all right? Like unfunded liabilities, unlimited wars, all kinds of bombs being dropped on innocent people where Lockheed Martin... Boeing, they, the owners, become billionaires and billionaires and billionaires and billionaires and billionaires. And, you know, we can't even understand it while we're working uh, all day. I know a lot of my students in my mastermind um, all have college degrees. Multiple, most of them have two jobs. All right. And so I see it everywhere where the average person has a college degree, works full time and cannot live on their own because of inflation being so high because of the Federal Reserve printing so much money of big brother over expenditure. And most people are just putting their heads down, trying to go to school, trying to get the best grades so they could get a job, not even realizing that the more they accumulate, the more they're being taxed, you know, uh, by inflation and by the actual tax on the item, you know. Um, And so what I'm trying to say is that you may be sacrificing to have expansion and growth, but please understand that there's a cost associated with it, which is 
you not being able to hang out with your kids or you not being able to do fun stuff or you not being to be able to be alive and enjoy your life versus working in a cubicle or working seven days a week to be your dreams. And at the end of the day, you're not getting something of value, which is like gold or something that's limited resources like Bitcoin. You're getting fucking uh, inflation. You're getting some fake fiat dollars that uh, are not worth anything that the paper that's printed on is worth more than it. Now, everyone in the world is gone by it because it's all emotional, but that is changing big time through sanctions, through the weapon, weaponization of the dollar, through you know us overthrowing a bunch of governments from Latin America, Salvador, Cuba, Guatemala. I mean, the list, Hungary, the list goes on and on. Same thing is happening to the Middle East, from Iraq to Lebanon. I mean, the, I, I, the list goes on and on. So as more of this heinous things are happening in the name of freedom and expansion, then the petrodollar or the world currency reserve, the U.S. dollar, I believe, in my opinion, is going to be in more and more jeopardy. And there's going to be other solutions that other countries are going to just create their own systems. They may not use the dollar anymore. China might become the primary currency uh, or Bitcoin or gold. I don't know. I don't have a a crystal ball. I'm just reporting to you the way I see it on the streets. I'm not looking at other people or saying what everyone else is saying. I'm just keeping my eye on the heartbeat of the streets. And I can see that the people are working. They're getting into debt. They're not able to pay their bills. And there's a lot of clowns advocating on going negative or going into debt to have freedom. And there's a lot of clowns like that. Talk about refinance your home, get home equity loans, suck up all your equity at your house, use your house as an ATM to reinvest, to buy more, and just to get into debt, debt, debt. And what they don't understand is the money is fake. And someone, some bankers are over there printing the money and... Everyone else is slaving over it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, click the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think a recession is coming, a corruption is coming, uh, or no? And last but not least, share this message, guys. Let people know where the money's coming. I made this video very, very simple for everyone to understand. One other thing before I forget, guys, you should definitely join my mastermind. Um, it's 19 bucks a week. We meet every Saturday um, for one hour. I hope you with your business. If you want to quit your job, you want to leave the rad rest, I help, I help you with that. If you already have a business, I can help your business get to the next level. If you're a real estate agent, professional, you want to get a lot more listings, I can help you with that. If you're an investor, you want to do a wholesaling, you want to be a landlord, you want to do fix and flip, I have experience with all that stuff. And I can help you from anywhere from sales to negotiation to automation funnels, so on and so on. So to get more information about a mastermind, uh, go to MrNoFluff.com. Again, MrNoFluff.com. We meet every Saturday. It's a life changer. All my students are in there. are pretty happy. Uh, I've seen them getting a lot of different successes. So I, w- I want to help you get out of debt or not get into debt. Just start your own business or be your dream without getting into debt or using the banker. Just use your imaginary creativity. I'm the master of that. And I want to just let you download what I've learned over 25 years because I've never had a job. I came here as a refugee with a hundred bucks, started a moving company for 14, 15 years, made millions and millions of dollars in it, started a brokerage firm and rental properties. Then guess what? I let it all up um, because I realized that this is fake and I'm already rich just like you are. We're alive. We're not in a hospital bed if we live in a free country. So it's just a mind shift different that really liberates you versus enslaves you. Hustle and bustle. Much love to you.